My name is Victoria, and today I am going to share with you guys my 2019 goals. I don't do resolutions, I like to do goals instead. And the way my brain works, I have to break my goals down into months, and then into weeks, and then into days. So that's this year, my word of the year is action. So what am I doing every day that's actionable towards my goals? Last year, my word was progress, not perfection. It kind of led into a phrase. I really did that last year. I made a lot of progress. I made progress on myself and progress on school and with the kids. And I felt like last year was a great year of growth. Okay, so I have them written down. They're also in my almighty, sorry, my desk is over here, but I'm not letting you see it because it is a mess. This is my planner, the happy planner, and everything goes in here. I wrote them down in here, but for ease, I just jotted them down here too. And some quotes that I really like that I hope y'all do too. So mine are broken up into sections. Ugh, there's a pillow behind me that makes me feel all uncomfortable. Okay, better. So first is family. And for our family this year, I want to homeschool my kids at the beginning of next school year. I'm terrified. I hope it works. Um, I'm a very big proponent of homeschool, of the education of homeschool, but I'm fully aware that it is not for every family. And even in the families that do homeschool, there are some kids that it's just not for them and that's okay. I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't work, we'll go back to school. I mean, fifth grade, first grade, and third grade, I don't think are gonna be the end of my children if we don't, if it doesn't work in a month in, they go back to school. So that's one. And then I want to work on the relationship of the boys with each other. They're super picky at each other and kind of mean to each other, honestly. Um, and I'm an only child, basically. I have a stepsister, but we didn't really grow up together, not like they are. Um, I didn't get her until I was a teenager. And so my boys, I just don't get it. Like they get mad about the craziest, silliest, He's breathing too hard on me. He looked at me sassy. I mean, I don't get it. So this year I really wanna work on their relationship with each other so that we can just maybe have a little more calm in the house, if that's even possible with three boys. And the last one is that I want to take the family to Universal at Christmas. My oldest just got finished reading all of the Harry Potter books. And so now we need to go to Harry Potter World. All right, my next section is career and education. So I started my last day of nursing, my last day of my last semester, first day of my last semester of nursing school. Holy crap, trying to get that out. So we have 111 days left. Goals are to graduate, obviously, pass my NCLEX, which is our boards, it's how we get our license, and then get a job, which I have my eye on somewhere that I really wanna be. I really love the people. I got to do a clinical rotation there, and I'm hoping and praying that that's where I'll end up. It's also awesome that it's only about 15 minutes from my house. I'm getting my ASN, so an associates, and I want eventually to have a doctorate. So next I will get my BSN. And so I will start that probably in July, possibly in August, we'll see. But that's definitely a goal. All right, fitness. Um, I don't have a weight necessarily that I wanna be. I want to be stronger. In October, I started strength training, so weightlifting. And for months, I hated going every single day because I don't like to work out. I don't like cardio. This doesn't have cardio in it, but I haven't found anything since cheerleading and gymnastics that I really enjoy that I can stick with. Um, but I promised my uh, therapist that I would go. And so I treat it like a doctor's appointment and I go. And I missed a week and a half through Christmas break. And I can feel anxiety in my body that I had no idea was there. I didn't feel anxious out, like I didn't feel anxious. I didn't react anxiously. I didn't even think I was anxious. But the last night before I got to go back to the gym, I could feel my body like, almost kind of vibrating. It was so weird and I thought, what is going on? And then I realized I haven't been able to get any of that, those feelings out or that energy out. I guess that like random energy that people with high anxiety have that makes you wanna do all the things trying to control that energy and focus it into something good has been great for me, but I didn't realize that that's what I was doing with strength training. So now I love the gym. Um, I still don't particularly like to work out, but I like to go because of that. So I want to increase all my maxes. So we do like a deadlift max and a bench press max, and I want to increase all of my maxes. My other fitness goal 
is that I just want to be comfortable in a swimsuit. We are going to something called mullet toss this year. Um, if you are in Alabama or Florida, you may have heard of it. It is at the Floribama, and apparently it's just this big kind of weekend party thing on the beach, and people actually throw fish or fish heads. Um, I just want to be able to enjoy that weekend and feel comfortable in my own skin and really have fun without worrying about it. And so that is my fitness goal, not a number on a scale or a certain inch number on my waist or any of that. I just want to look in the mirror and go, yep, I'm good with this. I'm going to go have, have some financial goal, doesn't everybody? I would like to move, hopefully at the beginning of 2020. I love this house and it's gorgeous. We have three boys though. And two of them are sharing a room right now and then also Ross works from home. So his office is upstairs and that's also the Xbox room, which does not work out as you might imagine. Um, so I'd love to have somewhere with a basement for the kids, um, a special office just for Ross, like a dedicated office. This is my office that I'm in that I turned our dining room into because we didn't need a dining room. So in order to move, we are going to have to do some repairs on this house. Um, it was built in 2006, six. So 12 years of pretty much the same. Um, there have been some little updates here and there, but I think we're gonna have to do like when Bella was a puppy, she would scratch and scratch and scratch at the doors. And so a lot of the doors are gonna have to be replaced, just little things like that. Um, but that obviously will cost and it will start adding up. And then there's the vacation. Um, and then I wanted to have some savings, just a just in case kind of situation. Then I have some YouTube goals. I want to grow my channel, obviously. I wanna build a great community here, a community of support and of openness and honesty. I want to learn how to edit my videos better. Um, I've just recently kind of figured out the thumbnail situation. So as I grow, I'm hoping they'll get better. Um, also, I film mostly at night because it's after my kids go to sleep and it's quiet in the house. And so I don't have great lighting. Um, so I would love for all of those things to just improve over this next year. Um, and then I have a weird one. I want to find my fun again. I think it's so hard as a mom when you have children you put everything into those kids and their needs and their wants and their friends birthday parties and making sure they have all that they need and then also that you're reflecting well on them I don't know if that makes sense I don't ever want to have my kids friends look at me and think oh my gosh and my kids be embarrassed because of something I have on or um, maybe something I'm doing, at least not embarrassed in a negative way, if that makes sense. I mean, if I'm over acting like an idiot and it's fun and I'm giggling and they're embarrassed, I think that's my job as a mom. Um, but I feel like I've kind of lost my fun. Like I don't go out with my friends very much and do things. And when we go out, out, like out, out, um, I'm not one that dances, which sucks because I love to dance, but I'm so self-conscious. And so I'm really gonna work to get out of my box this year and to do things that make me nervous and uncomfortable and just make sure that I'm living this life that I've been given and not just surviving it. Um, and kind of in with that, one of my goals is to just be able to say no more. I saw a quote somewhere that said, if it is all important, then nothing is important. And that struck me hard, like if everything is vital right now, and that's basically saying that nothing is special. I want to be able to say no. Say no to a lot so that I can say yes to some. And that kind of goes with everything. That goes with finances, like say no to my green tea at Starbucks that I am in love with, but I want to go to Universal at the end of the year with my kids and I'd rather be able to spend there than spend every day on a green tea. Or I want to say no to that, you know, second slice of cheesecake that I love, but I have those goals to feel comfortable in a swimsuit. So there's gotta be some, some take, some give and take, some balance there. Um, and I also need to remember that no is a complete sentence. And that goes for everybody. You know, if you've got friends that are doing something and you're like, yeah, that seems cool, but maybe not for me, just no. No is a complete sentence. So I have broken all of those down into three month goals, like what steps I need to take in these three months to get me closer. And then I've got those broken down into weekly goals. And so then from the weekly goals, I can make space in my planner every week 
on the left of my calendar, I have a place that I write all my goals and I make little boxes so I can color them in instead of like checking them off. I don't know, I'm a little OCD about stuff like that, but being able to visibly see things is great for me. It is a great motivation because I get to like check something off a list. And for me, that shows me that I'm making progress. I need to be able to see the progress. And that really keeps me on track for my goals. So I've got, you know, a financial goal. I've got how many times did I work out this week and how many walks did I take? And did I do Legos with my kids? And I don't even remember what else is in there, but um, it's there. And it reminds me every day that I want to take action every day to make this year the best I can. I hope you guys hang around and subscribe if you are new. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs up anyway or a thumbs down. I mean, I think that's still traction. So you guys let me know and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.